Okay, so this is what we're doing next, uh, doing Ducati's uh, Panigale S. Um, I've done one of these already uh, for myself, uh, so I did it in the red livery. So for this build I'm going to do in the black on there. I think that'll look uh, pretty cool together. Um, so what I'll do in a sec is we'll have a quick look through the box um, and then we'll start uh, building things. Um, I haven't got it with me but I've uh, forded the front fork sets because I've done that with all the bikes and it does make them look a lot better having the proper forks in there. Um, like a lot of kits you can get a lot of detail upsets and things but like replace some of the barracks and things, but uh, what I'll do is basically I'll just drill the holes. I think that looks uh, effective enough. Might have got some carbon fibre on the front there. Uh, I haven't done that on any, any of the bikes I've done so far, but uh, we'll give that a go and see how we get on. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Ducati's Panigale S. And so I'll do mine in black. Okay, see how we get on. Okay, so what do we have in the box? Um, take it off. So you've got to get it out. So it's got the uh, instructions, which in typical Tommy style, give you all the detail, what uh, colour to paint everything. And here we have, it's not a colour camera, a mixture of paint. So that's your. Uh, On there and then you move on to doing the exhaust system so I'll try and do a bit of weathering on that uh, radiator and the top half of the body as well is in there somewhere that's this bit here so there's no real sort of frame for the bike it's basically everything's hung off the engine so you've got the top half where the uh, front cowling and uh, fuel tank and back uh, seat and everything coming from the engine itself and the radiator on the front. Okay, working through, building everything up around the engine. And then you do the um, swing arm back with the chain, build up the back rear mud guard, and then you've got to uh, pass the suspension. Safety around the back, we get up to this stage, it starts looking more like a bike. Again, when we get to this stage, I'll have the detail set. Then you do your tyres and the wheels, make those up with the cars around, front mud guard and bike stand, fit everything together, build up some of the detail parts like the uh, instrument panel with handles and then all the pipe, piping work in there. Um, and this is uses just the ordinary black uh, pipe that comes with the uh, the model. I've got some uh, more detailed stuff so I'll have a look and see whether I can uh, use some of that as well. Again, building up around the side the, uh, where the cowlings and everything get attached. The rear seat with the rear lights. Okay. Streamline on the wheels. Fuel tank. And front cowling with the uh, front screen. Side cowlings, everything fixed, everything together. Lots of little screws and wing mirrors and rear number plate indicators and everything on there and then what decals go where on the outside and uh, gives you two options for, for the decals so on the red one it was five so the black it'd be 12 uh, so it stands out against the, the dark color so that's the instructions and we've got a uh, decal sheet uh, Mirrors for the uh, ring mirrors on there. And then we've got all the engine parts. So I'm taking them out of the bags just yet, uh, keep them all together and clean. So the silvery grey colour is basically making up the engine part and the uh, uh, exhausts, top of the engine, cylinder heads, a few levers, parts of the suspension, radiator. 
zoom in, then you got the uh, discs. So as I say, what I'll do, I'll drill out these holes to add the detail. Because um, that's basically what I did on the uh, the red one I did. Um, drilled out the front ones. The very rear ones were made from up from a detail set. And um, between you and me, I did think it made an awful lot of difference uh, on them. And you got a bag of tiny screws, the tyres, which have a slight seam on them. Little screwdriver as usual with tiny kits. Uh, but I've got a bigger one. I got a way bigger uh, tummy kit that I got. So that's priceless. And uh, springs and things in there. Clear parts, which are mainly made up of light parts in the uh, front screen. And your cowlings made up in the white. And your fuel tank you have to make up. And two halves. Um, they're all lovely on there. And then the front cowling, you see the separate little bag. And then you've got your wheels and the main body parts in there. Swing arm. And things, so they're all. And the seat. And wing mirrors and things, so lots lost little bits of detail. I mean, quite a list is made up. Uh, for example, these are your uh, parts for the uh, front forks. And you've got the. Uh, Grips and the brake levers. And then at the bottom, if we can get it out, we have a bit of an information sheet. So basically, it tells you about the Ducati itself. Some of these have lots of, uh, sometimes I've pictured in of engine parts, things like that, so if you have a little bit more detail. Uh, a bit less interesting that one. So, usually tell me your details, just three main screws with a couple of uh, detailed parts. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start, as the song says in the very beginning, we'll start making up the engine. These basically make up in sort of assemblies, so they make the main bulk of the engine, and then anything that's a different colour, keep those separate and then glue them together. Same with the uh, Exhaust pipes, uh, we'll make it up the body part again. That's mostly uh, semi gloss black with the uh, colour at the front. So we'll see how we get on. See you in a bit. Okay, so we'll just jump straight in with the uh, first sub assembly. Here's the main block. So we've got one, two, three, four, five pieces. We've got it all together because they're all painted the same. Flat aluminium, I think that is. So uh, I've got the, uh, as you can see the detail on these. It's got the two main sides of the engine off. So I like with everything else, dry fit to first. This little uh, part that goes in, that's where part of the exhaust pipe fits. So it fits in there, and this part would fit on that little lug there while we got it all together. And on this side. it all together. That'll be the start. So what we'll do is we'll get this glued up and then we'll move on and uh, see where we end up. So 
I'll do first is glue this extra bit of the top here in, at the top. Turn that on the glue over again. Same. Get my tail, because all this part down here is going to be hidden. I'm going all the way around, haven't I? It's a bit of a squish. Get it all together. So now we'll put this bit on the side there. Squish bit on those two. And lastly Goes on a little look there. Okay, there we go, so that's the uh, how the galley started. That's your first little sub assembly. So, what I'll do is I'll go on and uh, take off the other bits and pieces for the engine. Um, but they're all painted in different colours. So, we'll work through, make up uh, a few bits and pieces, and then we can get some uh, primer on things. So, that's uh, a bit of a start, but. Uh, All the detail. I think it's like a fuel pump or something, the water pump uh, assembly put in there. So the uh, exhaust come off both sides. So the tops go on. Little bits and pieces. Okay, so that's where we're up to. All right, back in the next clip when we'll uh, we'll move on a little bit. Okay, so we're up to so. If, uh, Lots of bits on uh, crocodile clips. We're getting ready to spray. So we've put the uh, exhaust pipe together, uh, which is made up of 
bump it on here and find it another bit that joins up with quite an ugly join there so what I can do with that is either fill it with some plastic putty, putty or uh, which one I'll try first is uh, Sprugu if you don't know what it is basically if you get a bit of your uh, extra thin when it's running down to the bottom it's cut up with some little bits of sprue with all the edges there you get so cut up lots of little bits of these put it in it dissolves and you end up with basically liquid plastic so what we'll do is uh, show you how this works we can get in the bottle This is a bit thin. Anyway, let's see how it goes. I think I need some more sprue in the me sprue goo. Seems to have uh, gone everywhere. So turn that up a bit. So basically, what I'll do is leave that to one side to uh, to dry, which will be at least tomorrow. And then we can uh, see how the joint looks. Give it a good. Uh, Filing down. So I need to put a bit more stuff in that. Um, so what have we got? So say what we'll do. We'll get this primed up. Um, we're using the grey primer from the UMP. So uh, the plan is. Gets it up to this part, so basically we've got the engine, radiator, and all the pipe work and everything ready, and then we'll move on to the next part from there. So we'll get this all uh, built up, painted, and sorted out. So I'll come back when we've done a bit more. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, um, I ordered the detail up. Uh, part from Tamiya for the uh, Panigale and uh, this is what you get so there's a more detailed part of the bottom of the uh, front forks uh, where the brakes go on and uh, brake pads and everything hold on there um, so detailed parts for the top of the uh, handlebars and uh, so the forks themselves and uh, it's like a reservoir for the uh, rear suspension and these little washers which go on instead of these if you want to put them on I suppose you can do is just drill that out and uh, see how you glue those in I see instructions in the back so we'll have a look at those in a bit more detail when we get to do the forks so they've arrived so pull them to one side Excuse me. So what else have we done? I've uh, basically primed all the uh, bits we've got there. Um, I just want to look now and see whether uh, how the seams and everything have come out. Oop, that's a blow magic. So anyway, that's. Uh, 
the exhaust. So that seems okay. And so this one, one with the uh, joined up here. Um, again, not perfect, but it's going to be hidden under. There's like a part that fits over the top of that. That's underneath where the seat goes. So basically, goes with the engine. Straight the camera. The engine in the V like that. This is the back of the engine. So this is really the only part of the. Uh, Exhaust you'll see through the uh, fairings on the sides. So anyway, that's I think that's come up okay. Um, I did the engine in uh, gloss. Gloss by primer. I was going to do some of the other bits like the, uh, the exhaust, um, but it uh, decided to come up. The yeah, airbrushing wouldn't work. So I got that bit done. So the rest of it done in the uh, UMP grey primer on there, which is really good. Basically, you can just slap it on, and it's uh, self-leveling. Leveling. There we go. So that's all done. So what we'll do now is work out what colour we're going to do next. For example, um, this part um, is going to be mostly. Uh, semi gloss black. Uh, I think this is semi gloss black. There's a couple of the bits and pieces that are. Um, and there's quite a few. These are pipes will be rubble black and aluminium at the ends. Uh, so it's just sort of put them into groups and see which which colours we're going to do first. We should probably do the uh, semi gloss first. Just don't have to mix that up because there's a couple of mixed colours for the other parts. So I'll have a look at doing that in, in a sec. Um, so the main engine part is done in uh, aluminium. So we'll, uh, we'll do a bit of painting and then we'll come back and uh, have another look. Okay, so this is the uh, first colour I'm going to mix up, which is for the parts on the engine. So which comes to the instructions is one part X31, which is titanium gold. Uh, one part X33, which is bronze. So what I've done is got a little uh, shot glass. Where you can get packs of these with uh, from Poundland, that sort of thing. Um, and uh, what we'll do is we'll mix up a colour. So a splash of. Uh, X28 in the bottom of there. <coughs> and we'll do a spot of mixing. Let's get a brush. Oh, that one. That's a nice one. Let's try that one. Uh, but first, what we'll do, it's a bit noisy, is we'll mix the paints up first. Back in a sec. Okay, so let's mix those up. Let's use my badger airbrush. So we'll put, uh, put the dark colour in first. And a bit of light. Maybe it's a little light, a slight, little bit more bronzing.
go. Another color. So I'll get the spray on to so the engine parts, like some of the heads, the sump, and that bit. And uh, I'll be back to see what the result is. Okay, so that's those uh, painted up. Sort of a dark goldy colour comes out. Some done as well, and some other pieces as well. Part of the uh, body, so I've done the bits at the front. So I'm going to do is mask that off in a minute too, and do the rest of it in the uh, semi gloss. And the cylinder heads, again, they're all done as well, so that's come out quite nice. Uh, so what we'll do now is the colour that we do the exhaust and uh, the silences, which is made up of one part X10 gun metal and one part X32 titanium silver. So do the same way, the glass, and we'll make it up. So I'll be back once I made that up. See you in a minute. Okay, so that's the uh, exhaust painted up. It's quite a good colour, that sort of a metallic silver, if you want a better phrase. And I've done the ends of the silences. They're in the same colour. So uh, let uh, that dry, and then also we'll do some masking up. Because middle of this is a uh, crummy silver colour. Um, this is all, <coughs> excuse me, my voice gone. This is all uh, X18 semi gloss. And that needs to be semi gloss because that goes in there. Must remember, must remember, must remember to fix that in. Okay, so uh, we'll leave it there for now, um, we'll let this lot dry properly and then we'll do some masking and uh, okay, we've uh, done a bit of the uh, detail painting. Don't know whether you can make it out but I've done all well, the screw heads in uh, chrome. Perhaps see a little clearer on the black bits here, so I've done them all around. On there, paint a couple of uh, some gloss back bits on here. And got the uh, work in there. Some black bits in the middle there. So it's coming along quite nice there. Okay, just gives a little bit of a detail there. And I've done these parts as well. The radiator, there's something on that was uh, top of the uh, filler cap is in chrome, the rest of it's in the aluminium. So made that up as well. And done the pipes. So again, it's rubber black into the aluminium on both ends. So see where the uh, um, of the word <laughs> where the fastener is on the top of those so i've done those on all the, uh, the three uh, tubes as well so what we'll do now is just have a look at putting a bit of color on the exhaust so what i've been using is the time use weather in air master so i'm burnt blue and burnt red Let it up and see, rub it on near the top where it comes out the engine to be a hottest and work it on some of the joints. Just get a bit of shading. So 
Oh, I think you can do as much or as little as this as you can. I'll probably will not do a huge amount, just give it a bit of a bit of shading on there. So again, the you can just blend in. Anything, and then we'll brush it off. Again, that helps if I show you what I'm doing. There you go, a bit subtle. Makes it look quite easily over there. So this is really the only part of the exposure you done, done here that you can really see on the back, so... Uh, again, just sort of get a bit of shade in on it, get a bit of colour. So I'm happy with that. So what we we'll do now is um, do uh, we'll do some decals next. Um, so I'll just pause while I do those out. Okay, these are the th first three decals that go on, and this one goes on the engine in here. Uh, it looks like it's uh, like a coolant level window. So partly shaded, and these two go on either side of the body here. Um, because it's such small ones, what we'll do is just uh, soak them in the micro set and then place them on. Um, again, because they're so small, we don't need to do any varnishes or anything. Uh, we'll have it with the uh, I've got the surfaces, so they'll stick on there no problem at all. Okay, so we'll uh, zoom out a bit and we'll uh, get on with doing those. So the back the decal and leave it for a minute too. This is the exciting bit with the decals, just waiting for them to, to do something. There you go, it's not moving already. And then we need to now get it off the paper without it sticking to everything else. Which I'm doing wonderfully well at. Way to get the level right, so line it up with the uh, Ducati.
sorry for that, just had technical difficulties there. There we go, go okay, on. What I've been doing with uh, decals recently is uh, to place them on the Microsoft set and uh, just let them sit there for a, a few minutes. And uh, they seem to they tip to help them sit down. Okay, so we'll come back to that one in a bit and see how, it, how it's going down. Okay, and uh, next we'll put these larger decals up again. That's small enough to do the uh, soaking. Okay, as far as I can tell from the instructions goes this way around because a little small square motif at the top and it seems to go down in line with this other direction. to uh, do its tough. for a few minutes. So while we're waiting for that we can do the next one. So again it goes this way around with the uh, longer thinner one closer to the front of the back and again go down the line with the handlebars. do the stuff. Okay, so both of those need a bit more uh, time to, to sit and wait, so we'll come back and have a look at those in a little bit. Okay, so that's the uh, that's view level one done. And let's finish these off. So it's going to 
that's down nice and smooth. Same on that side. So what I'll do now is uh, give them both ones over with the sole just to get them to sit down nicely. So we'll just leave those to do this stuff. Okay, so what we'll do now is uh, Carefully, I'm grabbing things. Start building up a bit of the engine. Okay. Let's go around this way. So. Uh, So that's Okay, so that's got the uh, exhaust pipe fitted. So what we need to do now is fit these parts on with the rest of the tiny little screws. So what I found is if you don't make too big a hole in the bag. Clearly, screws want to fly out all over the place. Line up some holes. When you 
screw on these up snug and not too tight because you can break your uh, plastic if you tighten them up too tight. side. So as this lug goes in, in there, so you're not getting it the right way around. Okay. Two more little screws. That's where I like the big screwdriver to these to use. So there we go. Okay, so there we go with the uh, last bit. Let that be there. There's two screws, two grooves, I should say. And they So that slides in. So that slides in. On there. And in there there's two little holes to line up. So again they need another little screw. So these are the slightly longer ones. This gives you the guide to which size so screw you need. Now, these way to find that is. So you screw on, and it's the same size. Everything lined up. Everything 
lined up. to get one out. And last one. Okay, so that's the first part. The complete up here, so we need to put some of these hoses on and uh, then put the here. on the front and then that's up to section 4 done. And make sure you seal the back up so it falls out. this put this part in so we need a little uh, poly cap poly cap so poly cap will go in there and this Are set down nicely. In there. Okay, let's find the right. Uh, It's um, like that, so we'll get that glued on, and when it's dry we can fit it to the engine.
Okay, so we'll put that to one side. And let that dry. So we put a bit looking for the radiator. Okay, so let that uh, dry for a little while. So what we'll do is fill that in. So we've added these two sticky out bits. Let's go. Come on, wooden shaping. Here we go. And then a little screw. Here's one I prepared earlier. This actually needs to fit in these two hoses. So I like this. One goes from the top of here to the top of there. So that seems to be behaving itself. So we got the other one. So the other one goes from this pointy spike down to there. Okay, so that is engine, exhaust, 
and radiator. All done. Okay, so we'll leave that to one side so uh, this part where it doesn't get knocked off. Okay, so we'll do, we'll call that part finished and in the next part we'll come back and do, start with the swing arm and see how far we get on with that. Okay, see you in the next part.